the whole thing wobbing. Once in a while over on Twitter, I'll kind of just start a random mutt discussion about something going on, and this tweet of mine that I put out yesterday absolutely blew up, and honestly, the nostalgia from this thread made me want to do a video like this that I don't normally do, but I thought you guys think was cool. I do want to give a shout out to d -more for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification on, comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, I do want to say shout out to you guys that copied my picks and also my dad's picks last night with the NBA playoffs we have another playoff game today my dad absolutely destroyed it with 675 dollars in wins myself we had this 275 dollar win we ended up just pretty much breaking even on the night so is what it is there but we'll definitely take that over a loss my dad though he destroyed it and if you guys check out underdog fantasy right now you will get a 0.5 special for today and you will get up to 250 dollars in bonus funds follow me over on twitter for my picks we have another good night also check out that giveaway i'm doing of the five copies of the mvp edition of madden 25 and college football 25 link is in the comment section now as we get into this guys basically what i'm gonna be doing in this video and if you guys really enjoyed this video and you want me to do more of these i most certainly can because to be honest with you if you don't follow me over on twitter already make sure you guys do so but i literally tweet stuff like this pretty much all the time something about this one kind of just made me want to make it into a video and if you guys do enjoy these videos where i get involved with you guys a lot and kind of react to your guys's answers to stuff i can definitely do it literally the majority of my videos that i post on here here are requested by you guys the videos that do the best obviously i'm gonna do so if you guys really enjoy this video please drop a like in the vid and comment down below interact with the video of course does help me out a lot and today i'm gonna be going over your guys's personal favorite mud cards of all time as i said there's definitely a lot more spins that i can do on certain tweaks like this that hey if you guys engage a lot with those as well we can definitely make them in videos too let's get into this all right so to start this video off number one let's talk about what did i actually tweet out that actually ended up getting a lot of interactions on it and kind of sparked this video in general and as you guys can see uh this is yesterday morning as the time you guys are watching this video i tweeted out we all have that one random mud card we'll never forget about and that was this card right here now this was my personal pick uh for the card that i feel like I really, really enjoyed a lot, and uh, I will always remember. Now, this is the Madden 16 Mutt Superlatives, okay, Honey Badger. Now, Honey Badger in general is one of my favorite kind of players in general in the NFL. Uh, has been since he came to the league. Just something about the guy. Absolutely loved him. And this card was on my team for so, so, so long. Mutt Superlatives was so amazing. And since I posted this, it got a ton of comments, ton of retweets, a uh, ton of quote tweets as well and we're gonna go through take a look at what you guys responded with for some of your favorite mud cards of all time i've seen a lot of them and yeah they're they're pretty good starting off here we have alex who replied with all rookie trey mason now uh trey mason a little bit of an unfortunate story if you guys know actually what happened with him but i gotta say trey mason this card i don't remember off the top of my head what madden this was i think this was madden 17 was it 17 or 18 i want to say with this trey mason card uh this was just in general an amazing amazing all rookie card and actually i take that back it was not 17 or 18 i had to double check that because i felt like that sounded a little bit off this is madden 15 for those of you guys that don't know i've actually been playing madden uh madden ultimate team pretty heavily since madden 15 i started doing madden youtube though actually towards the end of madden 16 up next we got a couple of submissions right here from brian Murkio, which i gotta say incredible choices of cards that he did put on here this team of the week patrick peterson i i don't even really have words Patrick Peterson, in general, is always a really, really good ultimate team cornerback. He has been. But this one in particular that you're looking at right here is one of my all-time favorite personal cornerbacks. Richard Sherman, that card was also really good. He was really expensive. I remember that. The Patrick Peterson, though, that is one of my favorite all-time cornerbacks. And off the top of my head, I think my favorite all-time Patrick Peterson for sure uh he also included Rod Woodson that card was really really good 92 overall right there here we have team of the year Brandon Marshall another really good card and finally a great addition that I'm glad he included is team of the week David Johnson team of the week David Johnson 89 overall David Johnson actually just retired a couple days ago which is what makes this edition really cool this is one of my favorite all-time running backs as well 
in Madden Ultimate Team history. A great addition here from Vince, and obviously for those guys that played Madden 16, this is gonna be one of your most remembered cards for sure in Madden history. It's Dre Archer, right? Dre Archer is a Madden Ultimate Team legend, and there's a reason why he ended up getting uh, the card this year, right? He got the Ghost of Madden card, which everyone thought was really, really cool. He ended up getting that little upgrade right there. I definitely did as well. Dre Archer right here, 64 overall. If you don't know, essentially at the beginning of Madden's, you know, before abilities really became a big thing, uh, it was more about base stats, and this Dre Archer was by far and away the, the fastest card in the game. I think he was the fastest or one of the absolute fastest, and he was super elusive. Obviously, he was a low overall, but people rocked this card for literally months as a 64 overall. One of the best running backs Probably one of the most dominant running backs in Madden history. Another incredible addition right here from Jameer, fellow Cowboys fan. I will tell you guys right now, this Des Bryant, okay? This is actually my personal favorite mutt wide receiver of all time. Now, of course, I'm a Cowboys fan, as you guys know. I'm a big Des Bryant fan. Shout out to Des. But Des, without a doubt, this card, again, before all the abilities and everything came in, it was more about, as he said, they got to get X-Factors gone because these cards just being straight up dogs. That is 100% true. This card was a straight up dog. I mean, the amount of just aggressive catches that you could get with this Des Bryant, the plays that he would make, the one-handed catches, it just really, you can't explain it unless you were there. This card was crazy. Another card that obviously was going to be on this list eventually, right? This one was sent in by D. Zadarius Smith. Come on. If you guys know, you know, Schefter stars Zadarius Smith. Essentially, uh, a big reason as to why this card was so good. Number one, he just played amazing, okay? He just played amazing. I don't know what it was. R really, nobody could tell you. But this card just played absolutely ridiculous. And the big thing is, you guys actually used to be able to run duplicates of the same card wherever you wanted. If you wanted to have three cornerback Patrick Peterson you could do it you could literally buy the same card put him out there people had Zedaria Smith across their entire defensive line he was cheap he was extremely good we don't know why but he was extremely good he was cheap and uh yeah people used to rock out with Zedarius literally their entire defensive line was Zedaria Smith I mean he's one of the absolute best budget beast because he wasn't crazy crazy expensive one of the best budget beasts of madden history next up we have a couple of randy mosses to add on to here we have a 99 overall randy moss madden 25 and again i'll be honest i didn't play madden 25 too much i actually think i picked it up a little bit didn't play like barely at all madden 15 was pretty much like the first ultimate i played but this one randy moss right there for madden 25 after that we have ultimate ticket randy moss not golden ticket ultimate tickets now this was actually back in madden 19 for some reason they just didn't call it golden tickets they were ultimate tickets that year uh we also got a terrell Pryor right here the stats on these cards by the way they look a little interesting right like 99 overalls but they're not like completely 99 stacked out there was a lot to do with you see like the route runner right there and the mb on the terrell Pryor. Basically, with that, like, a, a lot of stats to get boosted up to 99 uh, until, like, the very, very end of the year, you needed to build chemistries throughout your lineup to do it. Obviously, now we have, like, theme teams and all of that. This was slightly different there. Uh, again, another one right here, another ultimate ticket player, Anthony Barr. Man. That card was nasty. This is one that most certainly caught my attention, guys, and you just had to be there for this one. Honestly, all-rookie Marcus Mariota. Man, the, the plays you can make with this card. I mean, around the time that this card came out with all-rookie, there were some other quarterbacks that you could argue were definitely better, but for the price especially, this was like one of the best budget QBs basically for the rest of the year when he came out he was decently expensive i do remember that but mariota this 94 overall mariota he was so fast he was so so fast he made all the throws he was just so much fun to use you'll notice a lot of this video by the way i've also noticed by myself a lot of the nostalgia that it seems like the madden community has a lot of it is before like abilities became a big thing another one sent in right here is flashback champ Bailey the flashback promo used to be so good like seriously the flashback promo used to be so good and I do recall this champ Bailey card he was an absolute 
demon. Another one sent in and definitely one of my favorite running backs that we've seen. I wouldn't say he's up there even with uh, the David Johnson, to be honest, but Todd Gurley, Mutt Superstars, the Mutt Superstars promo in general at the beginning here of this Madden. Uh, again, I don't remember which man this was. This Madden 20, might have been 20 or 21. Todd Gurley, that card was crazy. Another one that I definitely remember being sent in right here is Career Tribute michael vick obviously we all know michael vick cards just how good they are uh but yeah career tribute vick this card was really good i do remember as well the similar to like the des bryant one the like ultimate legend crazy one yeah uh we've had quite a few good vicks we've had golden ticket vicks that were just insane we've had ultimate legend vicks that were insane and this career tribute was no different obviously you guys knew that we were going to get a couple of these as well we got a nfl 100 randy moss dickerson was obviously shown throughout this thread uh some other ones a little throwback here madden 25 jamal charles legendary card art again i don't really play madden 25 but jamal charles i liked him in general as a running back as a player this guy sent in quite a few right here team of the week adrian amos i do personally recall that card being an absolute stud we have amari cooper right here which we actually got for free i do remember that getting that free amari cooper back is on the raiders uh tribute steve smith can't say I use this card. I don't believe I ever use that card right there. And then again, another Zadarius. Once again, another Marcus Mariota being sent in right here. Snow Beast Mariota. That card was really good. All rookie one, though, is more memorable, in my opinion. Uh, and then this flashback DJX. If I recall correctly, this was out like at the beginning of uh, this Madden right here. That card was crazy. A pretty recent one, but Super Bowl present Tyree Kill from the Chiefs. I guess not all that present, right? Uh, that is actually a couple of years ago at this point. But Streak and Slant Specialist on this Tyree Kill. This was a good card. Another really, really good submission right here from Cade. We had Reggie Bush campus heroes i mean this card was absolutely insane he was incredible receiving back and again very elusive too a couple of also really really good throwbacks right here best cards i've ever used he said we have the style master tony romo i absolutely loved this card in madden 16 and also glover quinn both those cards were so so good uh terrell davis yep legend terrell davis amazing card and again michael vick flashback i do recall actually the DJX and Michael Vick, if I remember correctly, both of them were available in Mutt Draft. This was the first year, I want to say, when these cards came out. Uh, I want to say this card right here is from the first year of Mutt Draft. And at the beginning of the year, essentially, you would go into Mutt Draft mode, back when they used to actually update it. You would go in there and use cards before you go buy them. And especially at the beginning of the year, being able to use this card like Vick, DJX, all of them, and get to play with them, see how good they were. That was the good times. Another very good submission right here with this Team of the Week ryan shazier definitely one of the better user cards we have ever had this was an absolutely crazy entry that i'm just seeing now uh by tyler right here we got free safety Laron landry man yeah, that, that card was crazy. Another Des Bryant card, but yeah, I'm going to talk about Des for a second time uh, because I personally remember actually pulling this card. 95 overall, Team of the Week Des Bryant. If I recall correctly, uh, this was the Team of the Week Divisional. Okay, so it was a Divisional round. What game was this that he actually did this in? I cannot remember what game it was off the top of my head, but I do know for a fact that I pulled this card. Another really, really good pick right here. We have Flashback, Andrew Luck. I definitely agree that card was really good. And Ghost of Madden Julio. All Julios are good. Another submission right here. We have Ghost of Madden, Patrick Willis. This guy did say, oh, uh, middle linebackers animated without abilities. Yeah, that was nice, right? This man single-handedly won me games in his own. He did it all, lurked, popped the ball loose and got sacks another free card that i do recall right here this clinton portis this is actually one you guys could get from the journey solos back when we had like big solo challenge things you go through the journey would give you not only like a free player like this which was cracked but also would give you as well like a bunch of free packs you can go through and get and then also he submitted this randy moss and i'm not gonna lie to y'all this one right here zeke team of the year zeke man man oh man back on the cowboys that's a good thing but that team of the year zeke that card is just incredible and then also this team of the week antonio brown ab had some really good cards throughout the years now although i did say earlier that i never used the retirement tribute steve smith i do remember using this steve smith right here and yeah that card was crazy obviously another one that i think we all remember now of course donald parham is not that good anymore uh simply because of ko's and everything but man 
This is probably the most dominant tight end in Madden Ultra Team history. I think we can all agree on that. Is 86 Donald Parham. And just scrolling through to showcase a couple more for you guys. We have another 93 overall Patrick Peterson right here. Taylor Mays. Man, Combine Taylor Mays. I remember that car right there. Absolutely insane. We got a Joe Flacco right here. Another Dre Archer, 92 overall. DeMarco Murray from the NFL Movers promo. Well, that is crazy. Uh, Michael Mayer, 85 overall. Joe Burrow, draft class. And the final one I'll end this off on is by CC with this 73 overall Brashad Perriman. Again, just like I said with the Dre Archer, uh, yeah, speed was big. And uh, Brashad Perriman was the fastest player in the game to start off Madden, what was this? Madden 16, I do believe. I do believe it was Madden 16 with this Brashad Perriman, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it'd be kind of cool to go through here and kind of look through the thread, basically showcase some of the highlight players, one of those, some of the ones that, you know, got a little bit of interactions on them uh, and kind of just showcase. I thought it'd be kind of a cool video. Again, if you guys enjoy this, you want me to come back, you know, do another video like this, definitely drop a like in the video and comment down below what else you guys would like me to kind of interact with you guys on. And definitely follow me over on Twitter. Like I said, I tweet stuff like that a lot, but this one just really popped off. And honestly, I thought it'd be a fun little video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like and hit that sub button down below. Check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. I will see you guys later today. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.